What's up lads, Fuji here and I walk you back to another episode of Pack to Power. It is Monday, it is freaking hot, uh, but I hope you lads had a good weekend and uh, today what we're going to be doing as it is Monday is starting off this episode by looking through the collection book and then moving into the only one game today in this episode, but then uh, next episode which will be tomorrow we will have two games. So before we start, if you're looking for coins, Foot Coin King is your place, links we found just below in the description, best place to get your ultimate team coins from, cheap, fast, reliable, got both PS and Xbox in stock. Um, yeah lads, let's go and have a look at the book. I'll see you guys after that. So I welcome you lads back to another showcase of the collection book. We do this every single Monday just to flick through just in case I've missed any players that we haven't actually brought onto the account and you spot in the collection book. So you make sure you tell me if you do. We're starting off with Brazil. We've got Luis Gustavo. That was our newly packed player. Uh, moving over to Croatia. It's looking okay. Not the best of players from that nation if I'm honest with you. Mexico. Best thing that we, what we got from Mexico was uh, actually packing Dos Santos twice so we could upgrade to his inform. And he's playing such a such a great role in that central uh, sort of um, position. Uh, we've got Spain there. I'd have hoped for a few more defenders and midfielders. Uh, <laughs> Netherlands, Dutch guy. Look at him just sitting on there on his own. And we've got Chile as well. Uh, one guy chilling on his own. No pun intended. But that's not looking great. But moving over to Australia. And we're getting so many duplicates from Australia. I've just realised. And it's, it's getting crazy. Colombia is a surprise nation where we've got quite a few players. And good players. A few nice silvers uh, come from that uh, nation as well. Helles, which is Greece. Uh, still yet to try Samaras. He's like 6 or 5 in the left wing. He used to be a striker. Want to try him. Ivory Coast looks fantastic. Japan, not the greatest of players, you know, there's a few low rated ones, a couple of bronze, so we don't really get to use them. Uruguay, um, good strikers, uh, apart from that, not really that great. Uh, Costa Rica, uh, again, they've got mostly silver players, a few good silver players, but ones that we can't use. England, would have hoped for so much more, uh, only the defence, which is kind of off-putting. Um, we've got Italy, that is looking nice, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, Switzerland, oh, I'm going to be honest and say we haven't really used that many Switzerland players, or, or no, not at all, really. Uh, Ecuador, we have uh, Valencia. Two players there by the goalkeeper. That's uh, had a little bit of a glare. I don't think you guys saw that. France as well. Uh, we've got the best players, well, the majority of the good ones from France. Um, Honduras, yeah, we could uh, get a few more players. Argentina, uh, their defence just lacks a little bit of pace, and in midfield it could be better, but yeah, that's good. Bosnia, um, I don't really like players from Bosnia, if I'm honest. Uh, Iran, most of them aren't even on the game, but we... We haven't even got any. Well, really, we haven't got that many. And Nigeria, um, really fun place to use from Nigeria. I do like, um, I do like them. Uh, we've got Germany. Look at the state of that. We've only got four more players for the full team. Uh, Portugal there, and like I say, um, Ronaldo. We haven't actually got. He, was, he just came with the book, so I stuck him in just in case I lost him. Ghana. That's not looking great at all. That's looking very, very bad. USA, someone actually did mention for me to go and try uh, a few players before we get up into like Division 2, Division 1. So we'll definitely do that. Uh, Belgium, yeah, uh, a few really nice talent from Belgium. Shame we haven't got that many. Algeria, same sort of situation. Not great players and uh, not many of them, which is good. Uh, Russia, yeah. Uh, Korea, uh, it's a shame that most of the Koreans are silver, uh, maybe I could do like a silver cup run, not sure. Welcome back, so we are getting through the collection book quite well, you know, we've completed, uh, well, near enough one team, and we've got a few other ones that aren't too far away from completion, but this is a team which we will be using in today's episode, I did say that I wanted to try uh, the Informed Boney, which we uh, did actually get, well, a duplicate of him, and I also wanted to try Moses, because I'm a fan of him as well. So, 4-2-3-1 is the formation, we've got, um, well, yeah, we've got chemistry issues, you know, two chem for Zalbaleta, but I wanted to get uh, Yaya Torre on sort of the sort of the best chem that he could have done. So yeah, let's go and have a look where we do stand uh, on the table to start it off, and then we will move into that game. We've still got our record intact: 33 wins, nine draws, zero losses. That is where we did leave it uh, in that fr on that Friday episode. But yeah, let's have a look. Four, Division 4, 12 points. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We have been matched up against our man. He looks like a Juventus fan. And uh, yeah, Atomic Ants. Let's see what team he's rocking with. Hopefully it isn't too great. Maybe it matches my chem. No, it doesn't. Ah, uh, a Barbo. Wow, he's got a Barbo. He's got Di Natale. He's got Hamashik. Uh, I don't really see many people using him anymore. Uh, what's happened to him? He hasn't even had an inform. I think last year or year before he had like Team of Seasons, loads of cards. But yeah, good tackle. Let's go. Let's play it. Play it quick, quick, quick. Nice. And now play it right. Good play. This is good. Now play him in the middle. Quick time. Go on, Yaya Toure. Shoot it across goal from there. Oh, great save. Ah, 12 minutes in. And we've uh, nearly gone 1-0 up. Go on, Boney. Great ball over to Boney. What the volley? No, get it. Oh, shit. How did that not go in? Oh, go on. 
Cross it in. We've got two big lads in there. One of them's bony. One of them's... It's fallen onto the edge. It's just fine, Steiger. And again, his goalkeeper. No. Right, guys. Half time is here. And uh, it is nil-nil. I think I've had the better of chances, you know, in this game. And it's a shame that we didn't... Well, we're not one goal up. We should be at least one goal up. But it's that man right there that's uh, been uh, saving him. We've had, I think, three very, very good opportunities to go in front. I think maybe because of the chemistry, Yaya Toure was through, but he just didn't put it away. But anyway, let's have a look at the halftime stats. As you can see, eight shots, six on target, 58% possession. Uh, I think we need a change around, you know. Let me sort the actual team out, and uh, we will move into the second half. Right, lads, so one substitution, and that is to bring Benzema on for Boney. I just don't think Boney suited uh, in this formation. He's just a little too slow, you know, and he hasn't got the skill to... Uh, to turn around but as we can see here he's trying the uh, bloody over the top technique over the top it goes uh, straight to his goalkeeper again like what the hell was that what is that what's going on oh no good play Johnson Benzema get your head on this lad go on Benzema yes there we go 1-0 the deadlock has been broken and did you see what happened to his goalkeeper he started falling over and shit and he left the ball if that defender wasn't there that would have been an easy goal for me. But anyway, we've got the header with Benzema. I just wanted the first goal, you know. You know what I'm like, lads. We need that first goal. Nice, Ribéry. And through. Lovely play. Go on, Ribéry. You can finish this off, lads. Smash it in the back of the net. There we go. 2-0. 58 minutes in. Ribéry has got his goal. Uh, I like him, you know. I think he's actually better in the left mid position than left wing. I just think he's, he offers a little bit more support, you know. I do like him uh, for a drop back a little further. But no, that's pretty good. Nice, nice stuff. Quick, quick, quick. Good ball. Fantastic play. Now play over to the winger. Now we've got a runner from Benzema. Benzema, come and get there. You're onside. Can he get there first? Yes, he can. He has pride. He's not going to miss that. Uh, I don't understand. You know when you sub someone on, if someone else has already been on maybe six or maybe nine chemistry, do they carry over with nine chem? Or is it just... I, I don't know how it works out uh, when you sub players on. I don't know. Well, anyway, let me know if you know in the comment section. Oh... Uh, oh, fantastic header from him. That was that was near post OP header. Who scored that? Di Natale? No, it was. How the hell did he score that? Wait, oh, my God. Two headers. Two headers in the space of 10 minutes. What am I doing? Let's sort this out, lads. Let's get the win. Holy crap. Oh, look at that dribbling from Yaya Torre. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I was going to score it. I completely missed it. I spooned it. I've got a brick as a foot. So it is full time. It did finish 3 2. Very, very late on. He probably could have made it 3. Well, if he did score that effort, he would have made it 3 3. But what a game that was. Let's have a look how many points we do have on the table with that win. Jesus Christ. 3 2. He nearly got back with it. He nearly got back in it. Let's have a look. We have 15 points in Division 4. Let's go and open a pack. It's so hot in here. Whoa. Right, lads, so let's go and open that pack for the win. We nearly actually uh, drew it very, very late on. He did get back into the game. But anyway, let's have a look who we get from here. And we get Mirza Ozil. We've already packed him so we can bring him in his inform version. That'd be quite nice, although I don't really reckon on his uh, inform. We've got another Nigerian player. That is freaking awesome as well. We've got the Brazil badge. That is very, very good. So we can bring in someone from Brazil. We have a Zuniga. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And we have uh, the Uruguay badge. We've got two Chinese in a pack. Two shinies in the pack. So as you just saw there, lads, Ozil was the player, well, the best player in that pack that we did actually pull. And we've already got one of his versions, so we'll be able to upgrade his to, well, to his inform in the next episode. But we have two badges. One, which one is that one? That one is the Brazil badge. That one is the Uruguay badge. What I want you guys to do is let me know in the comment section one player from that nation that we can bring in. It could be anyone, any Brazilian player on the game. It could be a silver, gold, anyone. And let me know in the comment section and leave a like on the video. If we could push for 600 likes, that'd be awesome. And that'll let me know that you're still enjoying this series. And uh, lads, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already for daily FIFA 14 content and Road to Glory goodness, man. Subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7pm for a new episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.